when I know when I was five when people said art I thought painting and drawing and that was it so it's a really great opportunity for them to, to start extending expanding their idea of what art is and how they can participate in it we spend we spend each month during the school year exploring different cultural and artistic themes. The After School Arts Immersion Program is uh, an arts-based after school program that serves a maximum of 36 uh, young artists. Oh, we just recently completed a Capoeira residency that was um, facilitated by Grupo Brazil, which is out of a uh, Capoeira um, troupe based in Durham and we've worked with them a few times in the past but it's always just a, a really engaging residency. Hey, my name is Giles Harrison Conwell and I'm teaching Capoeira here at the Carper Arts Center. It's um, uh, basically an Afro-Brazilian art form that sort of uh, brings together uh, martial arts, dance, um, acrobatics, uh, and for the most part, the kids have been, you know, learning uh, a number of kicks, dodges, and we've also been doing a bunch of stuff like, you know, having them do cartwheels, uh, a, a lot of different sorts of acrobatic movements. Um, so, uh, for the most part, it's been fun to watch them go from, you know, crying because they felt like they couldn't do an owl or a cartwheel to now, you know, they've been doing headstands and all sorts of fun stuff like that. The beauty of it is that for the, for the folks who are a little wary of dance, it has the kind of martial arts element. So that's, that kind of drew, drew in the, the kids who, were, who weren't really excited about, about it as a dance form. And then the physical strength they gain, even over a two-week period, is, is amazing. Like, some were able to do handstands and headstands at the, the, the end of the two-week session. It it doesn't seem like it's hard to get them interested. It's hard to get people to get over the fact that they're not going to get it right in the very beginning. Like nobody starts off, um, you know, uh, a master of capoeira. Like everybody starts off pretty, you know, pretty badly. Um, and so it's hard for people, I think, to get over that frustration of not being able to, you know, fly and do flips and all this sort of stuff um, on their first day. So. We, we decided to do uh, Capoeira right after the holiday break because we thought some activity, would, physical activity would be good. And then we followed Capoeira up with a, a Decoding Adventures residency, which is also movement-based. And then we'll probably switch gears and go back into some uh, more visual art forms. I started Capoeira uh, in my second year of grad school. I am uh, getting a PhD in cultural anthropology. Okay. Yeah. really enjoyed it. And since then, I've been doing it at least uh, two to three times a week, and that's been about six years. So, um, yeah, I just loved it and never stopped. Um, it's been something that's uh, not just sort of kept me from just staying inside or in the library, but it's also uh, affected the way that, um, you know, I think about the, the academic work that I do. It's, uh, affected the way that you know, I, I even deal with people to an extent. Great program, great program. Not only do we do the after school program under the banner of after school arts immersion, we also have what we call our mini camp uh, program which is held on uh, Carborough Chapel Hill City School Teacher Work Days which is a one day, all day arts camp and it's uh, non-stop arts all day. Different arts every, every teacher work day. And then we also do a, a spring break clowning camp that we, we're trying for the first time this year, 
during, during spring break, March uh, 29th through April 2nd. And then we do the summer camps program, which is, again, another arts-based uh, camp 